Welcome to App Geeks channel. We are here. A few days ago, I forgot my iPhone passcode. After entering the wrong passcode too many times, my iPhone is completely disabled. It says connect to iTunes, but it won't. As you can see, my iPhone is disabled and won't connect to iTunes. After searching around, I get some useful tips to fix the iPhone is disabled connect to iTunes screen, and my device is unlocked successfully. If your iPhone is also completely disabled and the disabled iPhone won't connect to iTunes, keep watching to see how I unlock this disabled iPhone. Before fixing the completely disabled iPhone, you need to get a computer that's connected to an internet network and a USB cable. As a reminder, when unlocking your disabled iPhone, you need to restore your device and erase all the data. This means that all the data and settings will be completely wiped off. Unless you have made a backup before, you will lose all the contents like photos, videos, or other data completely on your iPhone. Alright, you may wonder why won't my disabled iPhone connect to iTunes? Obviously, iTunes going wrong could be a possible reason. So the first step I take to fix disable iPhone not connecting to iTunes and unlock the device is using an iTunes alternative tool called iPhone Unlocker. It can unlock screen lock and remove any disabled screen on any iPhone, iPad, and iPod when you forgot the passcode. It's also so great to give the detail on screen instructions to help you build a connection between your disabled iPhone and the computer if you fail to do that. You can also use it to bypass Apple ID and the forgotten password. Now let's see how it works. Again, any data on your device will be deleted completely after unlocking it. Go to appgeeker.com, find iPhone Unlocker, and download the tool to fix your iPhone disable won't connect to iTunes. Once got the software installed, open the tool and click on Y Passcode panel. Next, hit the Start button. When asked, get your disabled iPhone connected to the computer using a USB cable. You should see the detailed device information of your iPhone. If the tool can't recognize your device, put it into recovery mode first. Unplug the cable from your iPhone and turn it off. Keep pressing the side button, drag the slider, and iPhone will shut down. Then keep holding the home button while reconnect your iPhone to the computer. You will need to press the volume down button if you have an iPhone 7 or press the side button if you have an iPhone 8 or newer models. Now, release the button and the iPhone is in recovery mode. Now the program should connect to your disabled iPhone. Select the corresponding information for your iPhone and hit stop button. Now the software is downloading the firmware package. This can be used to unlock the disabled iPhone that can't connect to iTunes. Once done, read warning carefully and enter 0000 in the field. Then, press the unlock button. It may take around 15 minutes to remove the passcode and get your disabled iPhone unlocked. Now, you can open your device without passcode and set up new passcode and touch ID or face ID. Okay, another reason why your iPhone says disable connect to iTunes but won't connect can be iTunes not recognizing disabled iPhone. For this, how to connect to iTunes when iPhone is disabled is easy and all you need to do is to press some buttons to put your device into recovery mode. First, make sure your iPhone is not connected to any computer. Then, shut down the device just as how you usually do that. Wait a few seconds, then connect the disabled iPhone to computer while holding home button. You will need to press the volume down button if you have an iPhone 7 or press the side button if you have an iPhone 8 or newer models. Let go of the button when you see the recovery mode screen. Go back to your computer and open iTunes or Finder. Now you should see your device showing up. Click it and you will get a message. It means that iTunes or Finder has successfully connected to your disabled iPhone and now you can choose to update or restore it. As you can't remember your passcode and your iPhone becomes disabled, you need to do a restore. Then hit restore and update. Click agree. iTunes or Finder will start downloading the firmware. Once done, it will start extracting the firmware and preparing the iPhone for restore. Now it's restoring your iPhone. 
When it ends, it will inform you that your device has been restored to factory settings. All the data you have created on the device will be lost after you restore your iPhone that's disabled. But you can get the data back if you have backed it up before. Alright guys, I hope this video can help you guys fix iPhone is completely disabled problem and solve the issue when iPhone disabled cannot connect to iTunes. If it does, please hit a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. And also, if you have any questions, feel free to drop it down on the comments below. Also, don't forget to subscribe App Geeks channel for more helpful content.